Hey everyone, welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about phenomenology. Phenomenology is the philosophical study of the structures of experience and consciousness. Phenomenology is an approach in philosophy which concentrates on the study of consciousness and how we experience the world. This philosophical movement was founded in the early years of 20th century by Edmund Husserl and it was expanded over years. In psychology, phenomenology is used to refer to subjective experiences or their study. Subjective experience is the sensory bus and awareness associated with conscious mind. The experiencing subject can be considered to be the person or self for purposes of convenience. The phenomenological method in psychology was developed by the American psychologist Amedeo Giorgi in the early 70s. The philosophical psychology prevalent before the end of the 19th century relied heavily on introspection. Francisco Varela's attempts to train experimental participants in the structured introspection of phenomenological reduction has been demonstrated. Carl Rogers' person-centered psychotherapy theory is based directly on the phenomenal field. In 1951, in his book, Client-Centered Therapy, Rogers acknowledged the connection between the person-centered approach and phenomenology. Rogers stated that his theory of personality and behavior was basically phenomenological in character. This clearly demonstrates that phenomenology and person-centered counseling overlap. In 1961, in his book on Becoming a Person, Rogers further expanded on his phenomenological theory of personality. Phenomenal field theory is a contribution to the psychology of personality proposed by Donald Singh and Arthur W. Combs. According to this theory, all behavior is determined by the conscious self described as the phenomenal field of the behaving organism and can only be understood if the researcher sees the world through the individual's eyes and mind. As the saying goes, you cannot understand a person until you have walked a mile in their shoes. Philosophers have long confronted the problem of qualia. In philosophy and certain models of psychology, qualia are defined as individual instances of subjective and conscious experience. Philosophers often use the term qualia to refer to the introspectively accessible phenomenal aspects of our mental lives. Daniel Dennett has developed a phenomenological philosophy approach which he calls heterophenomenology. It provides a philosophical basis for a scientific psychology of subjective experience. In some realms of psychotherapy and self-help, different phenomenological approaches continue. Notable thesis of Dr. Ron Hackey on the phenomenology of personal traumas, both a model phenomenological investigation and valuable clinical insights and discoveries in the growing field of early trauma and prevention. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.